This show is brought to you by Manscaped. Use the code AFTV for 20% off your order and free shipping at manscaped.com. DT, big, big win. North London is red. You can see the red that we've all got on. Reminder, Tottenham fans, red. Yeah. Let's get into the player ratings. Um, 10, let's 10, kick off. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. <laughs> let's kick off with <laughs> Leno. He didn't really have a lot to do in the game. Didn't have nothing to do. Could have played Matt Ryan in goal. <laughs> <laughs> But Seriously, he didn't really have a lot to do, did he? No, didn't have anything to do at all. And what he did do, and I like it, was that when he had to go long, he went long. Yeah. He did the right things. Let's calm the situation it was a real, down. You know and it was a real goes. surprise that, you know, you know, given the fact that, you know, the Olympiakos game, the Burnley game, um, other games where teams that have pressed us have got joy, it was really surprising that they didn't even try and press Leno. Leno must have thought to himself, oh, yeah, thank you. you know what I mean? Cheers, mate. <laughs> Jose Mourinho tactics, dinosaur. Said it how mm. many times? This is why I wouldn't want him as manager of Arsenal Football Club. He's a dinosaur. He's won things. No, he's finished as far as I'm concerned now. I'm not having mm. none of that rubbish around me. Um, but Bern Leno... I'd say a six because he didn't have nothing to do. I feel bad mm. giving anyone below a seven, but he had nothing to do. What did he do, Robbie? Mm. Cedric. I thought he had a really good game. I thought he had a really good game. I think that he complements that right-hand side really well. Got forward, dealt with the threat of Ravioli coming down that left-hand side. <laughs> and, yeah, it was a good performance. I would say I'd say a solid seven for me. That was a good, good performance from Cedric. Um, yeah, Cedric, sorry. Okay, out on the other wing, Kieran Tierney. Oh, absolutely immense. Absolutely <coughs> immense. Just getting forward, everything he does, the drive, the passion. There's a boy that's, I say a boy, but he's a man, but like, he knows about rivalry. Coming from Celtic, you know, with the old firm derby and everything else, he will get it. He will get what it means to fans to win these games. And he was just brilliant. I put him just a bit ahead of Cedric. Um, because there was more of an attacking threat from him down that side, but mm. everything he done was just absolutely brilliant. So he gets an eight. Okay, eight for him. Um, David Luiz. Excellent. Superb. Absolutely superb. And it's where experience comes in. And this is why I can see that Arsenal would, you know, offer him that extra year contract for next season on a, you know, coaching slash player basis. Do you know what I mean? Because it's invaluable to get some, you know, some of the experience. Yeah, he's got his mistakes in him and he's, you know, David Luiz, shall we say. But you can't buy that kind of experience, man. Do you know what I mean? Now, and for a lot of the young boys, and it's very evident that we're building quite a, a young side in a position like that, I think it's only beneficial. Brazilian as well with Gabriel and Everybody, so yeah, I, I I think his performance was immense. I'm giving him a nine. I thought he was excellent today. Okay, Gabriel, exactly made that br made that made that as well. Not only was he solid, but he made that brilliant clearance oh, from oh. the rebound when they when they hit the when they hit the post. That yeah. was vital. That that's a that's the sort of thing that well that's the thing that saves the points today. Yeah, of course. I'm telling you, Gabriel would not have got that if he had a proper hairline. I swear that. <laughs> that was just immense. It's just like, like listen, I don't care. Yeah. That, when that come out, I'm there and I'm like, this, this, get back. Oh, mate, I'm all over the place, man. And it was just, but yeah, he was just immense. And I'll tell you something, a lot of people have doubted him over recent weeks. You know, I've left him out of team selections. I feel rightly so because I felt that he's really struggled to get back to what we saw mm. for the first three months after, you know, contracting COVID and everything else. But he's, he's 23. Back, he's 23. He's, he's in a new country, new new league. Players normally have a little, you know, mm. like in, the, in their first no, season. He, so. the, the, the last two games, he's been incredible. He's been um, immense. And that was another great performance today. Um, yeah, he gets a nine as well. Nine as well. Got for him and David Luiz. And like I said, just, you know... Go to your local police station in North London and give Harry Kane and that back, please. <laughs> Party. Um, I'm glad he got the minutes in. 
I felt he looked a little tired in that last 10, 15, should we say, a bit sloppy, very sloppy even. See David Luiz going mad at him at one point where he kicked it out for a corner. Um, but what you get with Thomas Partey is that presence in the midfield. And what I noticed with him today is the amount of times he'd pick up the ball and he was picking them passes either in the pockets or over the top and stretching the play, which is important when you play against the team that literally just want to sit and defend. Um, we're going to see the best of Thomas Partey as he gets fit. You know, I still think the best of him is going to be next season once he's got, you know, pre-season and a better understanding and, and consistency in a run because, you know, he's, he's missed a lot of football because of COVID, goes back to Madrid and then kind of, you know, stops playing for them and then comes to us and then plays and injured and plays and injured. There's no rhythm. Players need rhythm. So, yeah, I would say I, I'll give him a solid seven in there because I think his presence alone right. just offers something. Granite. I thought it was a good performance again. And um, if this guy could cut out his mistakes, he'd be such an important player. I think he is an important player. Plays much, he he play. plays so much better with Partey. So it's like his role, his role becomes defined. He knows what his role is yeah. and he just does it. And he, he seems so much better in there when Partey's playing. Yeah, and it, they, there's none of them stupid moments from him. Mm. You know, there was, there was one moment today where I thought he was going to lump someone and I thought, don't do it. Don't do it. But that's his temperament. And it's the North London derby. And do you know what? I, I, as long as they don't get sent off, I don't mind that little bit of, uh, do you know what I mean? In the North mm. London derby. It's, you love it. That's what you want to see as a fan. And you're like, go on, get in there and tear them up. But yeah, it was, it was a good performance, man. Again, um, I'd probably say, I feel a little bit like I'm not doing him justice if I give him a seven. Because I thought he just... Okay. Like, the, the, the thing is, with, I'll give him a solid seven, right? But the thing is with Granite is that he doesn't do anything that's, like, exciting, gets you off your seat. He does that horrible, dirty stuff that... No, you need that. You need that. Yeah, you sometimes don't notice it. Do you know what mm. I mean? So, good performance, man. Good performance. All right, seven, seven for him. Order God. I thought it was excellent. I thought it was excellent. And um, scored a goal, of course. Scored a goal. Two in two games now. Really starting to two find two his goals. Team. Norwegian captain. It, mate, he's had a great week. He's had a fantastic mm. week. And I think that what he's, I think that what we're benefiting from is a Martin Odegaard that feels love, and feels mm. appreciation, and feels that he's somewhere that he's wanted. That is the main thing. So. For me, I just really hope that Real Madrid have a great end to the season. Zinedine Sedan stays in a job and then we've got more chance of keeping him because, you know, he's such a young boy as well, which a lot of us forget that he's somebody like Emil Smith-Rowe as well, that you can build the team around. You've got years and years and years of, of talent there. Do you mm. know what I mean? So I, I'm just loving more and more of what I see to him. Just his... He, like the the spaces this boy picks up, like his his intelligence is ahead of his years. Do you know what I mean? You normally pick up that kind of intelligence when you're like mid twenties and you get that about you. But look, he's, to be made captain of your country at his age as well, come on, man! I'll give him an eight. I'm really him? impressed. Eight. Okay, S Saka. Um, felt sorry for him again. Another game where he's targeted. You know, Ravioli was trying to knock him out and everything else. And, um, yeah. It's, Came up hard time, of course. Yeah. It needs a rest. Needs a rest. I'm going to give him a six. I'm not going to give him a standard five. I'll give him a six because he was still a threat in the first half. Um, okay. But, yeah, so I six. think we, we do need to protect him a bit now. Okay. Six for him. Um, on the other side, Emil Smith-Rowe. Excellent. Absolutely excellent. And um, it's... <sighs> It, do you know what feels really weird, right? That I'm giving the centre-backs more than the attacking players, yet they didn't actually have anything to do as centre-backs till the final 10 minutes. But mm. I feel that what people are not realising is that they done so well to stop anything for 80 minutes. They just snuffed everything out before there was even a hint of something, which is why they get my top marks. But Emil smith Rowe, I think that was one of the best games I've seen him in an Arsenal shirt. So unlucky with that shot. Ah, oh, if that went in. Mm. Mate, if that would have went in. But 
Excellent. Like Odegaard, I'll give him a solid eight, man. He was he was immense, man. Um, Lacazette. Um, heard that he was the one brought into the side last minute to replace Aubameyang. So um, sometimes things happen and they work, and it did. And because we won the game by a penalty, I would probably say that I would be more confident with Laka than Oba taking one. And that's well, Lacazette, that. Lacazette is one of the best penalty takers around. Yeah, ever I, since I, his days at Leon, he's made, always been a top penalty taker. But it's the fact that the goalkeepers always dive the wrong way. Mm. Like, he's just cool. It's just... Do you know what I mean? And it's... Yeah, and obviously Oba's missed one against Spurs before. So, yeah, I, 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 that's a solid display. And I think it worked mm. with... Odegaard and Smith Rowe, the, the player that can hold it up and do the ugly stuff, but solid seven for me. And now, do you know what? Now I'm giving an eight because he scored. Seven, he scored. yeah, yeah, he, no, he no, no, he gets well. an eight. He gets an okay, eight. Okay, let's uh, let's rattle through the subs. So the subs that came on, of course, Pepe. was Pepe, who, by the way, for that penalty, he oh, put oh, the, the ball. He, the ball he put in the was ball. unreal. That's, That's what made the penalty. Listen, I'm telling you now. I don't want to bring his name up again, but if Mesut Ozil made that pass, there'll be compilations till 2029. <laughs> like, that <laughs> what was... What a pass. What a ball. So, I'll give him a solid seven for his... I thought he was very disciplined. He, what I like about Pepe he, lately... He, he had an impact. He had an doing, impact. He's doing what the manager's instructing him to do. I like mm. it. So, seven for me. Yeah. And then uh, the other subs didn't have long. Um, we nah, William El Nenny standards standard five standard standard sixes. We're giving. We're not giving no five. Oh, standard Six. sixes. Yeah, no one gets less standard than sixes. sixes. Mikel Arteta, the manager, got to take full credit because at the got end of the everything day, right. Do you know the thing is he got everything right and that big decision he made before the start of the game. If that would have gone wrong, yeah, it would have gone wrong. And that's what everybody would be talking about. Look, Mikel's laid down the rules. Mikel's made it very clear that, you know, there's certain non-negotiables, as he calls it. And one of those is is your discipline. And do you, um, think it was, do you think it was wrong of him, though, to, to mention it before the game? Do you know what? I he, could, he, he, could, like, he could quite easily have said, when asked, he could have quite easily have just said, well, no, no, well we've decided to go with Lacazette. Yeah, well, and then, you know what it is? maybe like, after the game, he could have yeah, elaborated I, I, more. I mentioned before the game that I wasn't too sure about it being mentioned just before we played them. But then at the same time, I think that once the media got hold of it, what's the point in lying? So mm. it's kind of, could someone have had a word in his ear to say, Mikel, just kind of deflect it until after the game and we'll address it? Maybe that's something he's got to learn as a manager. You know, mm. little... Maybe because what I was little... thinking, if you're saying about moles and things like that, and you don't like it, you're not very right then to... He was asked a question. He didn't need to say any no, elaborate. but the media knew. Everybody knew. It was all over social mm. media. Everybody knew the reason and why. So I feel that he's kind of damned if he does, you know, damned if he don't. It's kind of, me personally, I would like him to try and divert it and then mm. deal with it at the end of the game, especially before you're playing Spurs of all teams. Um, but, then but anyway, listen. Like, yeah, it, it worked. He got it right. He it worked. Right. Everything worked. Mate, everything worked. <laughs> everything worked. He gets a nine. Nine. Look, yeah. we've just come off. We've just come off the back of a game against the Olympiacos away. We've just come off the, you know, the North London derby. Two wins in a row. We can finish the job on Thursday. That will be an unbelievable week, you know. And we've had some mm. tough games of late as well. Yes, the Burnley ones are kicking the teeth, but we've had, you know, the second leg to Benfica to deal with, uh, you know, straight after which is meant to be a home game. We've then had Leicester away and navigated that. So, yeah, props to him, it's man. A good team. To... Yeah. Um, and um, finally, the referee. Um, it was nice that we got something go our way today. And it was also nice for Michael Oliver to um, show Eric, Eric Lamella what colour North London is. So I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. um, very nice. Um but I thought he, he let the game flow as best as he could. I didn't think he was that bad today. I felt that it's nice to get a decision go our way. You know, I, I, I'm not going to blame him for the kick out by Lamella on Louise and stuff, because that's where you need VAR. That's where you need somebody to say into his ear, listen, off the ball, this has just happened. You need to go and have a look on the monitor. Mm. 
I think the big decisions today, the the calls and that, he got right. You know, people will say, was it a penalty? Well, sure. at the end of the day, if you if you go to ground, it doesn't matter that Lacazette's got to get the shot away. You still followed it through and gone through him. If yeah, that was, was anywhere else, if that was anywhere else on the pitch, it's a free kick. So what's That's the a difference? Nailed on penalty. Nailed so, on penalty. You know, no Jose's argument. Jose's moaning about it, obviously, but. <laughs> He's going to try. Him. He's going to try and deflect, isn't he? But it was a definite yeah. penalty. So, yeah, I'll give him. Um, I'll give him a seven. Actually, I didn't think he had a bad game. I thought that was decent. Okay, even the ref does all right today. So, DT, thanks very much. It's onwards to the next game. Hopefully, we can uh, get the job done against Olympiacos. Then West Ham next week. Thanks, DT. Thanks, Ben.